We're here currently in Sarasota, Florida. We're going to enjoy a nice sunset flight tonight in the TBM 850 right down to Miami, Opelika Airport. Let's get this started. All right, welcome aboard everybody. The TBM 850 here at Sarasota. I'm excited to have you guys on board. We're gonna start up this engine, clear outside. Fuel boost pump is on, 24 volts, and start is on. Start light is blinking, and an ignition light is illuminated. If we didn't see those two lights, we would uh, work to start immediately. Watching the engine rise up 14%. There it is, fuel below idle. Now we're watching the ITT for hot start, NG for hung start. ITT is going to temp out right at 7.36. Now it's going to wind back down as the engine gets rotation. And there we go, good start. The first step after getting the engine started up, we'll go over to the ATIS and get the ATIS here at the airport. There's a different engine information, Quebec, meter observation time 2250 Zulu, wind 210 at 8, visibility 10, sky clear below 1000, temperature 262.21, altimeter 3018. Visual approach, runway 14 in use, landing and departing runway 14 and runway 22. Use caution increased by activity in the vicinity of Sarasota the airport, landing hold short operations in use. Ground control and clearance delivery are both combined on ground frequency, 121.9er. All aircraft back runway assignment and hold short instructions. Advice to contact, you have information, Quebec. All right, we have information, Quebec. So our next step, we'll go over to the ground frequency uh, here. R3 cross runway and we will pick up our yeah, IFR clearance. Yeah, please. Sarasota ground, good evening. No worry. If I one Tango Bravo over to Atlantic South with Quebec, we're going to pick up our IFR. No, we're going to one five Tango Bravo, Sarasota ground, go to the Opelok Airport via radar vectors to Sexton, then Lee County, as filed. On departure, fly heading 180, maintain 1,600. I expect 9 or 1,000, 10 one minutes after. Departure frequency 119.65, squat 4560. Clear down to Opelaka, air vector Sexton, RSW, as filed. 180 on the heading 1,600 on departure, expect 9,000, 10 minutes after. 1965 on departure frequency, squawking 4560, number 851 Tango Bravo. November 1, Tango Bravo, re back for Quebec is currently parking and advised ready to taxi. We are over at Atlantic South and we have Quebec and we're ready to taxi, number 851 Tango Bravo. Number 1, Tango Bravo, runway 22, taxi via Juliet Echo Bravo. Juliet Echo Bravo to runway 22, number 851 Tango Bravo. Ground, Liberty, All right, so we got our clearance. It was not anything that what I filed. Got the guy in the Remember, right here saying two, we're good to go. Four, nine, seven, two, sir, set a ground tax at runway one four. Via Delta Alpha. Delta Alpha to one four, Liberator two four nine two thousand. Yeah, we got a reroute there, unexpected. I'll just get that set up in the computer real quick. But yeah, I'd like to welcome everybody on board. Uh, excited to have you on this sunset flight from Sarasota down to Miami. If you do like these videos, be sure to smash the thumbs up up, subscribe to the channel. Alpha. Yeah, we got the sun just about to set over there off the horizon. Eight, sir, ground, Park the Park the Alpha, so it should be a beautiful flight down to Miami Opelika. There we go, I got our new routing 
put in the computer there, the airplane. They switched that up on us last minute. Wasn't even prepared for that. So I am using the iPad Mini 6 today with the pivot case mounting system right here. If you guys would like to have a system like this, super easy, quick to mount your iPad, be sure to click in the description below. With my discount code, you'll save 15%. Actually, turn our panel lights on here as we will be getting prepared for the sunset into the night. Here is Echo, and we're turning onto Bravo. We could probably ditch the sunglasses too. I don't think we'll need those any much longer. Check our flight controls. Look out there at the wing. Flight controls free and correct. And we also are going to be a lot lower on this flight compared to what I filed for. I filed for 15,000 feet. They're going to keep us down at nine. I don't understand like why they uh, switched everything up on us, but I guess we'll just go with the flow. We'll go over to tower frequency. You can uh, turn right on runway 22 and right on Alpha. I'll make the right on 22, right on Alpha, one Tango Whiskey. There's so tower, good evening, number 851 Tango Bravo, holding short at runway 22. 851 Tango Bravo, serious for the tower, hold short runway 22. <laughs> holding short at runway 22, number 851 Tango Bravo. Maybe hold short runway 22. Port landing assured. Come to a stop here, and we'll wait for their call. 851 Tango Bravo, runway 22, clear for takeoff, 1230 at 6, traffic 5 mile final of the crossing runway is an Airbus. Alright, clear for takeoff, runway 22, number 851 Tango Bravo. Alright, here we go, sunset flight to Miami Opelaka. I'm excited, and I'm excited to have you guys on board. Final is clear, runway is clear. I'm going to come here and line up on the center line. There we go, we're all lined up. Now we're going to ease the prop RPM. There we go, and then advance the torque all the way for our takeoff power. And takeoff power is set. Oil temperature pressure is all good in the green. Uh, we're looking for traffic, I'll tell my call. Uh, holding our center line with our rudder pedals with my feet. Room, you to keep the downwind over the numbers for runway 14, Now we're just going to be looking for our rotation speed where the airplane's ready to fly. And there it is. Pull back on the yoke. And we've got a master caution on, it's an auto select light, it's really easy to fix that, it's just to reset it, that sometimes comes on. Tap the brakes, and gear up. Yeah, sometimes you'll get an auto select, that's the fuel selector, and it reset that real easy, is just reset it, and then it will stay off, and you don't have to worry about that anymore. It happens quite often with this airplane. Here is up. And we're also going to go flaps up. Yaw damper on. So how about that? A little master caution. We're in our takeoff roll. You can't let things like that distract you. We're flying the airplane. He's just passing through final. Now just maintain 1,600 for a moment. I'll tell you when you can start descending. Is that your 10 o'clock in about a moment? We'll go IS mode. Autopilot on. It's already saying it's capturing. Bravo heading 180. Contact Tampa departure. 180 on the heading, over to departure, one tank of Bravo, good night. And we're leveling out at 1,600 feet, we'll contact departure here. Tampa, good evening, Nova, 851 Tango Bravo, leveling out at 1,600, 180 heading. 851 Tango Bravo, ident, climb and maintain 3,000. Ident, climb and maintain 3,000, one tank of Bravo. So, you hit the ident button on our transponder, 3,000 set up in our altitude pre-selector. Now he's looking for us on his scope. A oh, beautiful view up over the Gulf of Mexico, that sun's starting to set. One Tango Bravo, climb and maintain 4,000. Maintain 4,000, one Tango Bravo. 4,000 set, and we'll VS to that 3,000 feet a minute. A beautiful sunset happening. A little bit of a chaotic uh, departure there with that master caution coming on. I've seen that light come on many, many times in this airplane, and I know basically all you do is just you go to manual mode with the fuel selector, back to auto, and then the light will extinguish, and then you just silence the master caution. One Tango Bravo, climb and maintain 900,000. Maintain 900,000, one Tango Bravo. All right, 900,000. Set up in our altitude pre selector, and we'll VS that 3,000 feet a minute. And we'll go into 850 mode. Torque is just under 100%. Flap lever goes up and over the gate. We'll also turn off our inertial no, separator. A little and switch down here by my left knee. I'm going to flip that. Light goes off. And now the speed is bleed back to 140. We'll go into IS mode and climb in IS mode. I know I'm throwing out a lot of things right now here at you guys, but that's how quick, quick some of these things happen. Now by going climbing in IS mode, the airplane will stay at 140. 
and we don't have to worry about stalling out the point. At any time you flip a switch, you always verify on our panel here. I guess mode is active. Tango Bravo, clear direct sexton on course. Autopilot. Clear direct sexton on course, A51 Tango Bravo. Four two Zulu, turn left at Direct enter enter, and we go into nav mode. Left two three zero six zero four two Zulu. Clear to the left. Yeah. Beautiful view down there. I don't know if you guys can see down there, but a little hazy today. And we're turning direct sexton on course. That's nice, got the sun out of our eyes. Square up our heading bug here. Quick tap of it, squares it right on up. And I'm going to verify with Miami, once we get checked on with them, that after we go Sexton, RSW, that they want us still to join. One Bravo, contact four miles approach, 134.42. 134.42, one Tango Bravo, how can I? Yeah. Fort Myers approach, good evening, number 851 Tango Bravo, 7,500, climbing to 900,000. 851 Tango Bravo, Fort Myers approach, Myers altimeter 3020. 201 Tango Bravo. That's a local altimeter setting, adjust that. Yeah, and that was 1,000 to go, 8,000, climbing to 900,000. And here we are coming up on our cruise altitude for this flight. Uh, Fort Myers, number 851 Tango Bravo, okay, question? Go ahead. Yeah, they switched up my routing and everything on us. Or yes, let's get my clearance here. Just want to confirm, Sexton, RSW, and they wanted me to join the Palms to arrival? One Tango Bravo, yeah, that seems about right. Uh, I don't have what your old routing was, okay. but uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's usually what, what they do to get over the Palms. Okay, Roger. I like that set up. That's what we'll expect. Thank you. November 802, contact. But anytime you have a question, it's always good to verify. .65, have a good one. Since we're going to stay under 10,000 feet in this play, I'll keep the landing lights on. Normally, I always shut the landing lights off when I go above 10,000 feet. What a beautiful five, view out there. Three, check 356, turn right Look off the right way. You're three miles from Airbus, cross Airbus at or above 2,000. Just south of Sarasota. So one thing that I'm very excited to announce, this is uh, amazing news. Bose, which I've been sponsored by many years, They've just come out with, I got it right behind the seat here, the Bose A30. Super excited. This is the Bose A20. They just announced the Bo Bose A30, and I just received it. And it's got lighter clamping force on your ears. It's supposedly lighter. It's got three different uh, presets that you can put for noise cancellating, high, medium, and low. So if you're flying super quiet jets, you can put it to low. Noisy airplanes, put it to high. It's got Bluetooth, make phone calls through it, stream music. So yeah, I'll be uh, showcasing the Bose A30 in the future on my channel, so stay tuned to that. And uh, they just announced it here at the end of March. And I'm so excited to have a headset. Maybe I can give one away to you guys, we'll see what happens. But yeah, the Bose A30. I've been wearing this Bose A20 for most of my flying career. It's an amazing headset. I'm looking forward to trying out the Bose A30. I just received that A30 here just the other day. So looking at our routing tonight, this is it right here. I'll show you guys. There we are right here. Going to Sexton, RSW, for the Palms, to arrival, into Opelaka, Miami. That's our routing. Normally I would do screen record, show you guys the iPad, but with the latest update with Apple, screen record is not working on my iPad or my iPhone. So hopefully in the next update they'll fix that. Every Apple product has got screen record. Unfortunately, with this last update, there's an issue with that. So anytime I want to show you something, I'll have to just hold it here in front of the camera <laughs> to show you guys what I'm trying to show you. So come on, Apple. Fix your products. This is my favorite time to fly, right at sunset, into the night. So peaceful up here. This is my full-time job. Many of you that have been following this channel for a while know. I love Beacon this career. Turn left, heading zero, uh, I couldn't zero. think of doing anything else. Getting paid to fly airplanes around zero, six, zero. is such a blessing and such a great opportunity. If you guys are thinking about becoming a pilot, just go to your local flight school and take a discovery flight. And if you like flying, go get your ratings and there's a lot of jobs out there. I'm not used to cruising at this low of an altitude. 9,000 is pretty low. I noticed the, the engine noise is a little bit louder just because we're not so high up down here in the lower altitude and here we are over Sexton we'll start a right turn 
He's got a pretty good view as we start our turn over there. Let's see how that sunset's progressing. Oh, it's right on the horizon now. I don't know if you've ever guys have ever seen the they say there's a green flash sometimes that happens when the sun just disappears. I've never seen it. They say a green flash can occur when the sun just vanishes over the horizon. We'll see. Maybe you guys will see that tonight. November 1, Tango Bravo, turn right, fly heading 180, expect uh, vectors for palms. Roger, 180 on the heading, 1 Tango Bravo. So if you put the heading mode to 180, we're going out of nav mode to heading mode. And the airplane is now turning to a 180 heading. All right, keep an eye out over there off the right wing. It's getting ready to disappear. That sun. Let's see what happens. It would be amazing if we could see a green flash. Be a first for me in my lifetime. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. It's disappeared off it's the, 2200 the horizon of the clouds, but right not all the way from the uh, curvature of the Earth. You can still see it a little bit we below like the clouds. We the RNAV 13 circle to 23. Uh, with the procedure turn and then the R now. Amazing to full being able to watch the sun go down from an airplane or a sunrise. All right, it's officially, I believe, under over the horizon. I did not see a green flash. And November two Tango Vector Roger, I have your request. maybe you guys saw. It. I didn't see a green flash. Three one zero. Well, there's always tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll try it again. All my years of flying between Sarasota, and Miami, I've never had so much trouble with everything. So far tonight, we didn't get our route. We're not getting our altitude for cruise. We're not getting American even vectored on our route, now we're getting vectored off of it, and it's a really nice night, so tonight everything is unexpected. Nothing that we expect is happening tonight. Just one of those flights. Expect the unexpected. November 1, Tango Bravo, clear direct palms, rejoin the arrival. Direct palms to rejoin the palms to arrival, I want Tango Bravo. So we scroll down to palms, highlight that, direct, enter, enter. And now we'll go up. To nav mode. Two Tango Victor, I know you're going back to page for and the And we'll start our left turn to Palms. Is that you depart and the rest of the fixes are all in there for the Palms to arrival. American 1387, Miami Center, 127.2, we'll see you. Display screen brightness here of the uh, iPad. A51 we'll Tango Bravo approach on 126.8. 26, a one Tango Bravo, have a good day. Approach, good evening, Nora. A51 Tango Bravo, 900,000, direct Palms. November 851, Tango Bravo, four miles approach. Good evening, use caution. Similar sign, call sign, a Baron 158. Tango Bravo is on the frequency also. All right, we'll use caution for that one, Tango Bravo. All right, so we have another airplane with Baron a similar... Baron 158, Tango Bravo, contact Miami Center 133. That's him right there he's talking to. So now we're back on our original routing, even though we're significantly lower, only at 900,000 on this flight. The problem with flying lower with turboprops is we're using a lot more fuel. Our fuel burn down here, if you look down here at our fuel page, is 76.2 gallons per hour. So we're using a lot more fuel down here at a lower altitude, so I'm not really happy with not getting my altitude, which I filed for. Because by doing that, it's costing us more money. So we should be within range now to get the ATIS there at Opelaka. We got a COM2 and we'll monitor both frequencies. Airport advisory clearance delivery is available. Ground control frequency 120.02. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Sierra. One zero seven zero. All right, we have information, Sierra. Sierra, Sierra, 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 most current information of that airport. And we will get all set up for the ILS 911. I'm gonna go down here and go to Opalaka Airport and then we'll 
select procedures and approach. Pilot's nine left. That's our approach plate right here. One seventy on the speed, and I'll get that all set up and briefed. Three thirty on the heading Delta eleven twenty four. Two Tango Victor, what's your request? I'm gonna go. TBM one Tango Bravo, contact Miami Center one three two point four. Thirty two four November eight five one Tango Bravo. Good night. Miami, good evening. November eight five one Tango Bravo, nine hundred thousand direct palms. Eight five one Tango Bravo, Miami Center, Roger. Now we're going right past Naples now. Number eight five one Tango Bravo to direct Coops. Direct Coops one Tango Bravo. So we got a little shortcut here. Direct enter enter to Coops. And we are in that mode, so here we go to Coops. I sometimes wonder how they come up with all the names of these different fixes. And we'll dim the lights even more here. As it gets darker. There we go. Now tell me that is not a beautiful setting in here. Sun is setting behind us. We've got our panel lights all set to a nice level. We got information Sierra at Opelaka Airport. We got our Bose A30 that I'm excited to use the next time I go flying. The night is a good night. Even though everything was unexpected. Normal speed, Southwest You always got to expect the unexpected. And stay prepared. Yeah, when I had my landing gear failure with this airplane this last year, that was definitely unexpected. I was able to run the emergency checklist. I declared an emergency. We did just a couple radar vectors out over the Gulf of Mexico. This was landing at St. Pete. Within four minutes, I was ready to come back in and land. And so, always on, expect the unexpected. And with that emergency, it was not fun to go through, but with proper training, you always take your training very seriously. And when you expect the unexpected, uh, you'll be prepared and ready to deal with it. Just like tonight when we had our master caution. Come on, right on our takeoff roll. It's the worst time ever to have a master caution, but thankfully I, I've had that master caution quite a few times. I knew what to do. But right on a takeoff roll, raise your rotating. Having the lights blinking and blaring in your face when it's a master caution is not ideal. But how are you guys enjoying the sunset over there? I keep catching you guys daydreaming, looking out that window. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Always a pleasure to have you on board with me. Be sure to follow along on other social medias, all down in the description below. Along with the music used in the videos, or all my other linked social medias. Instagram, I do a lot of behind the scenes. When I'm not flying, filming on YouTube. Yeah, so be sure to join the uh, join over there on the uh, Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. Bravo Cross, at 8,000. Coops at 8,000, one thing brother. So even though that's a very easy crossing restriction, math-wise, just to show you, you can use your VNAV. 8,000, zero miles at Coops. We're gonna start down in three minutes and 28 seconds. And what we're gonna get with that, you'll get a message light, just to remind you. Even though that's mathematically a very easy to know, you just gotta go down a thousand feet at Coops. Yeah, but we wanted to do our VS profile, 1,500 feet a minute down. That's just a nice little reminder. So we're now at three minutes and five seconds. So we'll start down when the light goes off. And we'll put in our altitude pre-selector, 8,000, just set as a reminder of what we're cleared down to and what we need to do. Right now is actually a good time. We'll start pulling the power back because we need to get the airplane under 200 knots to turn our inertial separator back on. And it's easier to do that while you're leveled out rather than a descent. There we go, airspeed's bleeding back. As soon as we get to 199 knots, we'll flip the switch by my left knee. So the right, there. So switch is flipped. Now it's gonna take 30 seconds up there. There's a couple flaps that are rotating, redirecting more of the air out of the engine. And then once it is finally on, we'll get a master caution light, saying inertial separator, along with the master caution. I just let you know the inertial separator is on with icing. So look at there we go. Inertial separator laid on, master caution. So now we can re-advance the power past 200 knots. And actually what we'll do is see this light is pretty bright because we have it on the daytime setting. We'll go back to dim. There we go. Now it's set for nighttime. Okay, 5-1 single Bravo, contact Miami approach 120.5. 
20.5, one Tango Bravo, have a good night. Miami, good evening, No, 851 Tango Bravo, 900,000 across Coops at 8,000, we have Sierra. Number 851 Tango Bravo, Miami approach, expect the ILS, runway 9 left at Opalock, good evening. Roger, expect the ILS 9 left, thanks, 851 Tango Bravo. Uh, and American there's our message light for VNAV. Approaching VNAV profile, so we'll arm 8,000 and VS that, 1,500 feet a minute down. And that'll meet our crossing restriction. Beautiful night to be flying. I can already see the lights of South Florida out there. Miami, all the way up to Palm Beach. And it is a little bit of a hazy night out, so... It's pretty good that we can still see all that. Right now we're over the middle of the Florida Everglades. We're leveling at 8,000. We're coming right up on Coof, so we met that altitude restriction. One Tango Bravo, fly heading 080 and descend to maintain 3000. 0 3000, one Tango Bravo. 0 set, 3000. And we'll be at 1500 feet a minute down, go into heading mode. So now that we're on radar vectors, we'll go to procedures, select approach, ILS 9 left, cocaine, and we're going to actually activate that. There we go. Got the approach all ready to go. So we're off our. Arrival onto the radar vectors. As you can see, uh, here over the Everglades, there's not a lot out here. Just a lot of alligators and pythons. EBM 1 Tango Bravo, contact Miami Approach 128.6 tonight. 286, 1 Tango Bravo, enjoy your night. Miami, good evening, Noah. 851 Tango Bravo, 6600, you send to 3000 on a 080 heading. Good evening, 851 Tango Bravo, Miami Approach, just send to maintain 2000. Then maintain 2000, 1 Tango Bravo. Boy, the, the air is so smooth tonight. This is such a great night to go fly. And our next frequency is actually going to be the tower, which I know. So to stay ahead of the flight, we'll get that all put in here. Therefore, when they say go to tower, we just hit one button instead of scrolling around and dealing with all that. I always say staying ahead of the flight makes flying a whole lot easier. Going 250. 48 knots. 250 knots is the speed limit here below 10,000, so we wouldn't want to go above 250. And we're just about hit the haze layer out there. That's where normally you'll start to feel some little bumps in the air if uh, there is some turbulence or is going to hit that haze layer. That's what we're starting to hit right now. And we're from completely smooth to just very minor little bumps here up flying around. We're right up at 250, 249 probably, so I'll pull the power back just a little bit. Just so we don't exceed that 250. Yeah, this airplane doesn't have an auto throttle. I guess that's okay. As a pilot with some of these newer airplanes, you really don't have to do much at all. There's so many different automated systems nowadays. But this is a 2006, this airplane. So it still makes you do a few things. That's 1,000 to go. 3,000 descending to 2,000. Beautiful, relaxing night to be flying. 851 Tango Bravo, proceed direct to O'Kane. You're 7 miles from O'Kane. Cross O'Kane at 1,600. Cleared ILS, terminal 9 left approach. Direct O'Kane. Uh, cross O'Kane at 1,600. Clear for the ILS, 9 left approach. 851 Tango Bravo. Alright, so we're going to go right to O'Kane. I'm going to cross that at 1,600. And we are cleared for the ILS 9 left approach. We're just in the turn right now to the right. We'll clear out that direction. There we go. Back to a cane. Look out the front out there. You can see the lights of South Florida getting a little bit brighter. I love flying over South Florida at night with all the different lights. It's really quite something to see. So many people right out our front window, millions of people. And we're up just here up by ourselves enjoying this beautiful flight. And we're direct to a cane and since we're clear for this approach, we'll arm the approach. Number one, Tango Bravo, contact Miami Center, crash in my head, uh, Opelaga Tower, 134.67. Over to Tower, enjoy your night, 851 Tango Bravo. You too. Here we go, by staying ahead of the flight, just one button. Instead of scrolling right, all around. Right there, take off. Right, Intercepting the localizer here now. Set the 2 Romeo 1, departure, party arrivals, another Cessna, runway 9 right, clear touch. We'll start slowing it up a little bit. Oblaka Tower, good evening, November 851 Tango Bravo on the ILS 9 lift. 
TBMA 51 Tango Bravo, Blocky Tower, good evening, runway 9 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 9 left, thank you, 851 Tango Bravo. Feels good to be back home. Right now, as you can see, the localizer, we're capturing that and getting lined up on that. And we got our glide slope, which is going to, both of these plays going to come down. And we'll intercept that over SASBO, which is coming up here in three miles. So I'm going to pull the power back so we will get under our flap and gear speed. And we'll watch the uh, airspeed indicator come down. Once we get past 178, we can put some flaps in our gear down. There we go. There we go. So we'll now put our first notch of flaps selected. Anytime you flip a switch, you always make sure it indicates. So we're looking down here at the air indicator right here and indicating. I, every ILS and every approach, for the most part, I keep things very standardized. But now when the glide slope gets one dot above, right here, right here, both of these displays, one dot above, that's when I'll go gear down. Keeping things standardized for the most part, it's keeps things in the workflow going really well and smooth. There you go. Now you can see the glide slope coming down. As soon as it gets to this next dot, that's where we're going to select gear down. So right there, one dot above, gear is selected down. And to be right on the glide slope will be this next dot. That means your, our airplane's properly right on the glide slope. We'll be right at that next dot below the one dot above. And gear is indicating down. Three green. And we're still just a little bit to the left of the localizer, which you can see right here. The airplane's correcting. We do have a wind coming off the right a little bit, which I believe is blowing us off a little bit. But it's uh, correcting. As you can see out the front window, beautiful night. We got the runway in sight out there. And we'll put our altitude pre-selector. To our go-around altitude, if we had to go around and go missed. Beautiful view out there of all the lights. I love it. Go right on down to 258 feet on this approach. Oh wow, we'll get off the right wing over there. You can see rush hour traffic. Let's go down past Miami International. <laughs> Look at all those cars. And we are going to disconnect the autopilot with my left hand here. Click. There we go. We just checked the autopilot. Now we get on the rudders. 500. That's 500 feet to go. Looking good. Right in the glide slope. Right in the localizer. Beautiful runway out there. Inside. Nine and a half. Traffic's no longer a factor. Uh, base your discretion. Base your Since they've upgraded the LED lights on these runways, the the lights of the airports are really nice and crisp. Looking good. If you look up, there's our decision height right there. That's as low as it could have went. If we're on this approaching the clouds, and we are continuing to land since we have that. So we're going to start to ease the power back to flight idle. There we go. I'm going to go into the flare. There we go. Center line. Go back into reverse with the uh, prop, just changing the pitch of the prop. Slow us up. Now we're going to go back to beta, which is just below flight idle. And we'll exit the runway when able. Nice smooth landing for the most part. one Tango Bravo, turn right when able, then contact ground. Have a good night. Right when able, go into ground. Enjoy your night as well, one Tango Bravo. Both we'll fucking controllers here are always really nice. And we'll get off at Echo. But sometimes it can be tricky trying to get off these runways at night, but you see that yellow line? That'll, Houston Tower, that'll guide us right on off. Ready, left. That yellow line, we just Morning, follow that in. That'll bring it right to the center of the, short, the taxiway that we're looking to use. And Millennium 154, and we'll see some hold shore lines coming up. We'll cross those hold shore lines, clean up the plane, contact ground. There we go, here's the hold shore lines. So we just pass those, make sure our whole airplane's across them. There you go. Come to a stop and clean up the plane. And we'll go over to ground frequency also. 
resetting all my trims. There's a lot of different things to do. There we go. Opal Rocket Ground on our 851 Tango Bravo, clear 9 left on Echo, need to go to Signature. Number 851 Tango Bravo, Opal Rocket Ground, taxi to Signature via November, November 6th. November, November 6th, and the Signature, thanks, 1 Tango Bravo. Alright, man, I hope you guys all enjoyed that flight. Welcome to Miami, Opal Rocket Airport. Beautiful sunset tonight. Even though everything basically on this flight, for the most part, was unexpected. But as we have learned and stated on this flight, if you expect the unexpected, things will go a lot smoother. Rather than just being naive and just think everything's going to go as planned. If you did like that video, be sure to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Also, ring that little bell that'll notify you when I upload a video. Yeah, coming up here, we're currently on November. Here's November 6th. We're going to turn right here, and that'll bring us right onto the signature ramp. And we'll hopefully have a marshaller to greet us and, and park us. We'll shut this down. And call it a night. And I already see our marshal out there waiting for us. What a, what a good service. Anyway, guys, I hope everybody's doing good wherever you're watching from. And uh, take care, and we'll talk to you again someday soon.